This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in our description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, May 20th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, NASA and NOAA completely disagree on a halo coronal mass ejection created today. Where is this CME going? Earlier today, a full halo coronal mass ejection billowed away from the sun. This movie from the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, or SOHO, shows the storm cloud completely surrounding the solar disk. The question is, where is it going? A NASA model of the coronal mass ejection suggests it's a far side event heading directly away from Earth. On the other hand, NOAA analysts think it may be linked to a C6.7 solar flare from sunspot AR3683 heading directly towards Earth. Either geometry can produce a full halo CME. If it is indeed headed for Earth, the CME should arrive on May 22nd. But let's take a look and decide for ourselves. Now, in fact, right about 6 UTC time, or 600 UTC time, we did have a strong C 6.7 class solar flare. I wanted to show you all that right here. And I'm going to show you the explosion itself. But obviously this hit our GOES satellite. So this was directed towards Earth. Although a C 6.7 solar flare doesn't sound like it's strong enough to create a halo explosion or a halo coronal mass ejection like the one we saw on LASCO C3. Now this is that C6.7 solar flare that NOAA believes created the halo coronal mass ejection. It does look like a strong explosion, but again, they did call it out as a C6.7 solar flare. Now, Sunspot Group AR3683 is located right here. For those of you that did not know, you can see that many of the sunspots are becoming more complex, like 3685. With that said, taking a look at the back side of our star, we see that we have huge sunspots that have already proved to be so very complex and active. It would make perfect sense that this was a backside explosion. First off, due to the halo CME that looked like it was created by a much stronger solar flare than a C6.7 solar flare. Now remember, NASA didn't model anything for 13 days. They've already modeled this flare. You can see they have it as a very powerful flare coming out the backside heading directly away from Earth, Earth being this small yellow ball right here. Looks like they do have plasma hitting on around the 22nd, but it wouldn't be part of this large halo chrome mass ejection, according to NASA. This is the NASA Goodard is what spiral. So I guess the real question is, who do you think is correct? We will be able to tell in just 48 hours, but I'm going with NASA on this one and thinking that this must have been a backside event. First off, I don't see more plasma really coming out from this area, although that's arguable. My conclusion is really made by the size of the halo chrome mass ejection. I just don't see a C 6.7 on the, well, 5 o'clock position 
causing such a large chrome mass ejection, especially in all directions like this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is the first time I've ever seen NOAA and NASA argue about a huge explosion and associated coronal mass ejection, period. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. God bless. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.